In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the bar editor in Jamsticks to make manual adjustments to the generated drum performance, as well as how to create grooves from scratch. The bar editor shows all notes for the current bar in 16th note order. Each row represents a hand or foot of the drummer. The last two rows are the hands of the percussionist. Each note occupies a cell in this grid and shows you the kit piece used, its velocity, hi-hat opening level, timing offset, hit style, and whether the note is locked from the AI. You can make subtle changes to the performance generated by Jamsticks for a specific bar, such as adding a crash needed for emphasis on a certain word. Double-clicking on an empty grid cell will create a new note. If the cell is occupied, the note will be deleted. You can drag notes around the grid. If the Shift key is held while dragging, the notes will be moved. If the control key is held instead, the note will be copied. You can adjust velocity, priority, timing, and hi-hat opening with these knobs here. The lock icon here is used to lock the entire bar so the AI will no longer compose for it. If you right-click on a note, you will see a context menu that allows you to change the various properties such as the sound of the note and the style with which it's played. The timing mode lets you add or subtract a musical interval from the 16th position of the note. This is very useful for 30 second stroke rolls. You can select and edit multiple notes at once by dragging over them. Now, let me show you how to create a drum groove from scratch. I'm going to click the trash can icon to clear the bar and the preview icon to have jam sticks loop this bar while I edit it. Let's place some kick notes here, snare notes on the left hand here, and some hi-hat notes on the right hand. Once I'm satisfied with the groove, I can save it here to use it in other projects or select it in the import style. Another neat little shortcut is to use Turn Groove into Style here, which instructs Jamsticks to clear the style, load a groove importer, and select my edited groove into it. This way Jamsticks will use the groove for all bars of the current part so I don't need to copy and paste it myself. Furthermore, I can now add other brain elements to get a hybrid of my edited groove and other stylistic elements from the AI. The bar editor will show you groove notes, accent notes, or fill notes, depending on your choice here. The same rules apply to each mode. You can make adjustments to the notes generated by the AI or even create your own fill or accent from scratch. There are many other functions in the bar editor and its menus and I encourage you to explore and experiment with them. That's all for today. If you have any questions, please contact us in our support forum or via email. We are always here to help you get the most out of Jamsticks. I will see you in the next tutorial. Until then, happy drumming.